why are these square sections hairless? And then everything else has hair. It's weird. Is it 11 or one? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm in Central in Houston. I left Eastern to come to Pacific. Girl, I can't even deal. Do I look orange? <laughs> What do I look like right now? This is looking light, light. Now I can't see this blush, so I may have OD'd on it, but that's okay though. <laughs> it ain't that kind of party, you know what I mean? <laughs> What up, it's your girl, Minna Devia, and in this video, I am actually right now, currently in Los Angeles again for an event with Sephora Squad, which is so exciting. So we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna show you my outfit and fragrance. So let's just jump right into the video. If you're new here, make sure you are subscribed. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. When I'm not here, I am there. Same name, Minna underscore Adubia. I'm also on TikTok, so join me over there as well. And we're just gonna get into it. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I have these braids, right? And I feel like taking them out. Because because I'm seeing crust from the product that is used to lay it down. And I don't like that. I like the braids to be jumbo because it's easier to take out. I don't wanna be here all day. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't keep my braids in for that long. I have my makeup just laid out over here on the desk and I'm getting ready. So if you don't already know, I've been a part of the Sephora squad for two years now. I'm now going into my third year. So our welcome event is in person this year as opposed to being online for the past two years. That's exciting. This was part of my goodie bag. This is my first time using this. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Never used it. So if you have and you like it, let me know. I know I watched a video where someone said that it was really mattifying. So let's check this out. So yeah, it's the first time of being in person. I just came from Miami, actually to here. I was supposed to come here to LA yesterday, Monday, but I was in Miami for a family vacation. It was my older brother's birthday and I wanted to make sure I was there on Monday. And today, Tuesday, was the departure day. I was gonna depart obviously in the afternoon and go home, but then I came here, so here I am. I'm only gonna prime my T-zone because this is a mattifying primer and I want it to mattify where? My T-zone. We're priming in the area that we need that primer to work. I don't want to mattify the sides of my face, no. I want there to be a natural shine. Also yesterday in Miami, I went to Sephora and got another Fenty Pro Filter in the color 490 because I forgot to change my foundation in my suitcase. So the one I have in my suitcase is HD Skin, which I wore the other day and it looked good. It's just natural and hydrating. And it's a summertime, so I'm not trying to be hydrated. 490, here we go. The nice thing is I'm getting a reprieve here in Miami from the heat because, yo, although it's 100 degrees in Houston, I'm not sitting outside. So going to Miami, we were eating outside because sometimes that was the only option or walking somewhere. We did Uber, of course, but I'm just saying, yo, we were outside more than I am in Houston. It was mad freaking hot. You know what I'm saying? So I look forward to the weather being a lot cooler here. Now, remember that this shade is dark. It's gonna match my neck and chest, but not my face. So it's gonna look a little wild going on and then it's all gonna come together. Leftover product on the hairline, not taking anything extra up here because I don't want any lines of demarcation, you know? And I'm not gonna do eyeshadow. I don't have eyeshadow in my travel kit. I used to take eyeshadow with me on travel, but it's a hassle. Like, who's trying to do eyeshadow looks? We are traveling. I don't have time for all that. So I stopped. I took my eyeshadow palette out. I have one in there in case I wanted to use the black as an eyeliner, but really I just be using an eyeliner as an eyeliner. And what I mean by that is on the top line. If you see my eyeliner video, you'll know what I mean. I normally use a powder. So I don't do eyeshadow on travel. It makes my makeup session very fast so in this video you actually are going to get my soft glam makeup look which I used to call basic everyday look it's not basic it really is a soft glam look I'm going over my nose often like a lot because for some reason it doesn't I don't get even coverage on my nose it's gotta be because of the shape of it you know just like right here look at my look at my suitcase on the, on the ground I'm so annoyed <laughs> here we go on the chin because I have 
blemishes right here. Ooh, I have my laser appointment coming up soon. My second one, if you see my vlogs and you know that I did get laser hair removal on my whole entire body and I am thrilled. Let me update you actually. So my legs do not grow nearly as much as I used to. Same for my armpits. My arms, same thing. I have a little, actually now I look at it, I need to shave my arms again. So you're supposed to shave, not pluck. Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta shave my arms, but my legs, so, so good. The bikini area does grow, although it's in patches. It's so strange. It's literally sections of my bikini area, which is so odd because it's like, why are these square sections hairless? And then everything else has hair, it's weird. But the more I do it, the more I go, the less the hair will grow. And that's why there are six sessions. This is looking kind of light. <laughs> this is looking light for this. Makeup Forever HD, the color is 50. This is looking light, light. Got my makeup sponge. All products are gonna be linked below. So if you don't already know what the Sephora Squad it is, it is a year long paid contract to work with brands inside Sephora. And the agency is called Four F O H R. And like I said, yeah, a year long contract, awesome networking opportunities, personal development, professional development, I would say too, just through the relationships and the meetings we have meeting with brand founders being able to ask questions also being able to work with the four team and they're just really helpful professionally i've grown with being on the sephora squad of course if you've been here then you've seen campaigns with sephora squad over the years and it is just really a lot of fun you're in this group with people who are all doing the same thing creating content but of course we have different focuses and mine is beauty skincare lifestyle but with Sephora Squad, the campaigns are centered around beauty and skincare. You may have some Sephora Squad members who are focused on hair mainly, or hair only, or fragrance. You know, it just depends. But I, in a way, I want to say that we all do it all. I could be wrong. This time change is sick because well, I was at 7. When I got here, it was 9 Pacific, which would have been, is it 11 or 1? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm in Central in Houston. I left Eastern to come to Pacific. Girl, I can't even deal. All I know is the flight was five hours and I was like, God almighty, but you know what I did? I don't fly American often, but I really enjoyed it because with their Wi-Fi service, I got to use everything. And I mean everything, the Sephora app, TikTok, YouTube, IG, I could post. I was shocked because on United, for instance, you don't get all that access. So I was like, okay, American, I see what you're doing around here. I really did enjoy getting to do whatever I wanted to do. This is a KBD Bright. I talked about this in my Sephora haul video. I picked up another one of these KBD skin. Honey, good apple bomb, color 98. It's too much. The names be too much. It's just so creamy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a Fenty foundation brush that I'm using to apply my contour. So yeah, the time zone was just so strange. And you would think that when I got here, I would have wanted to sleep. No ma'am, mm -mm. I have too much to do. I am a busy body, okay? For better or worse, I'm gonna just get things done. So of course, came downstairs, met whomever was in the lobby, some members, and of course, members of the team. We had to do a few things and chit chatted. And then I came upstairs, ordered room service, and unpacked both my suitcases, which are very heavy. And then I was watching shows while I ate and unpacked. And then I started getting ready. So I took my time to do all of that but it really was like a three hour ordeal and then showered and brushed my teeth of course and here we are you know so getting ready for cocktail hour i think it's gonna be so much fun it'll be exciting there are 70 something of us is it 80 something like that and of course i don't know everybody but you know there are faces that are familiar so this is the morphe glamour bronze face and body bronzer the color is prodigy i recorded a video using another brush set from amazon that might be up before this video so search it on my channel if you <laughs> haven't seen it if you if you feel like you missed it but it will be up it will be up at some point so then that'll give you two different brush sets that are options for you from amazon and really and truly you just have to know what you're doing with the brush set it is very likely gonna work it is more than likely gonna work you know so that's the whole point of the video to show you that you can get a brush set for 40 50 dollars with mad brush options and then i'm doing a tutorial for you to show you how to use them and also showing you the fact that certain brushes you can use to do more than one thing which is always so cool too so face powder is the fenty 450 clearly this is not a color for my entire face this is to bring everything all together add some warmth because this is pretty golden just bring it all together really
That was the Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt. So we spoke on IG about how amazing Valentino Uma Coral Fantasy is for men. Eau de Parfum is. And I brought it to Miami. My sister loves it. So do I. I happen to have two of them. So I gave her mine in Miami. And what's nice is that in our gratis bag coming here to the event, we got a bunch of things, one of which is fragrance. There's a sampler set from Juliet Has a Gun, which I've never smelled before. And then I have two from Seven Virtues. So I'm gonna use one of those today. Listen, honey, I bought three fragrances with me. One, and I keep these in my suitcase. One is Baccarat Rouge 540. The other is Giorgio Armani My Way, the first one. The third one was the Coral Fantasy Men's, which is Woman Sweet Gourmand. Beautiful for a woman to wear. I discussed this on IG that you gotta really be confident to wear because it might make you feel like you are smelling like a man, but it is so warm and sweet. It's sexy, I love it. So I gave it to her and I was going to wear Giorgio Armani My Way today, but I'm gonna do one of the Juliet Has A Gun fragrances cause those are good too. If you've tried them before or have any, let me know which is your favorite cause I wanna know. This is the Elf Cosmetics blush. This one happens to be always fiery. This one stays in my makeup kit. The one in my suitcase stays in my suitcase and the one I normally use is always spicy. Now I can't see this blush, so I may have OD'd on it, but that's okay though. <laughs> Okay, Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation, a whole situation. Taking this on my eyelid to give it some kind of uniformity, some kind of color. And this is really the key to this. I could have used the bronzer color, but I don't want my eyelid to be dark. Not today, at least. But that is certainly another quick and easy way to bring your look together by taking the bronzer color on your lid. Tomorrow when I get ready, I'm sure it's not gonna be like this because this is insane. I cannot deal with this. And the lighting in the bathroom is so orange. Yeah, I brought my own light, but like, come on. It ain't that kind of party, you know what I mean? <laughs> Diffuse the harsh lines in the brow like so. Press, press, press. I know they don't show this step because whatever, but here it is. Leftover product on the brush from the one I use with my bronzer, and right here so that there's no harsh line in this area coming from my brow bone highlight. Just pressing this in. This happens to be a Sigma brush, but take a look at my Amazon brush video, the new one. You'll see me do that with the brush that I ended up using for the contour. This is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. It's not my favorite vinyl eyeliner, but that's okay. The reason why I have it in here is because this will double as the eyeliner that I put on my top line. The vinyl eyeliner is way too shiny and pigmented to put in my top line. So I just have this to double for both. So right here, just quick and easy, just rubbing it on, nothing too perfect. Although you might look and be like, that's perfect. <laughs> It was a rushed job, in my opinion. See, this one came out thicker than I needed to be annoyed. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? When I do this look, I'm not looking for absolute perfection with my eyeliner. And in my tear duct, I restocked on this during the April Sephora sale. This is the Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the color Hopscotch. Love to use this right up in here. It's giving us frosty silver realness in the nicest way it pops really nicely so i normally prefer a gold frost right here in the tear duct when i do this soft glam look but i would have needed to take a whole eyeshadow palette just for one color and i don't i didn't want to do that i want the makeup in my suitcase to be as minimal as possible and this is minimal and mascara on top this is laura mercier caviar volume mascara And for lashes, you already know what it is. D22 is my favorite style. Let's get these going. Honey, listen, this is not, because of the sun, this is not what I like, but we gonna just go with this for the get ready with me. I got this new lip combo from Sephora Collection. Now, remember Keek, that app, the video chat app, before IG and before Snapchat and everything? It was Keek. And back in the Keek days, 
We loved the Sephora collection lip stain, the red one. We loved it. So I went back and got a few to make a nude lip combo. I'm gonna bring this to IG for sure, but this is the color 26 and on the inside it's 75. So gorgeous. I was gonna put a lip gloss on top, but we need to wear a mask tonight, so no gloss. Just the matte combo. These smell really good too. I'm letting that dry a little bit while I put these on. And for bottom mascara, we already know what it is. Lawless one and done, honey. All right, no setting spray because you know that's just how I do. I added a little bit more lip color to the middle to brighten it up some more, but very gorgeous. This is my, I almost said it every day again, this is my soft glam look, okay? Let's get to fragrance and outfit and also my jewelry and head out the door.